Okay, so anybody uh, who has gone through the challenge documents, uh, you can uh, raise your hand and share your understanding. So, yeah. For those of you who can't speak, you can just type in the chat box. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, any of you that have just opened the document, can you actually raise your hand so I can actually understand where you are at? Okay, get there, go. Yeah, hello. I've just opened the document. I'm, I'm on page one. Okay, so uh, if you have any understanding of what you understand about page one, you can actually share that. Uh, it is, uh, it's about using AI and formulas to, for budgeting, yeah? To do some budgeting. Oh yeah, so we have tables of content there, introduction, uh, project scenario, so on the project scenario, we're saying I'm a newly hired project manager at Stalled Incorporation, a self-storage data company based out of Austin, TX. Uh, you have operations in the US, Canada, and Mexico. You are very early in your startup journey and are tracking expenses month by month. Your goal is to develop a five-year projection. Yeah, so uh, from what I understand here, uh, I, I should be trying to track the expenses of the company uh, month by month, and this will help me to develop a five-year projection of maybe uh, the state of the company during the five years. Uh, that is what I understand. Okay, so thank you, Gitteri. Uh, and anybody else? So, uh, I will. Uh, uh, I will just try to type in in the chat box if you can't. Uh, if you can't speak up, but you have to participate. Okay, uh, I will just call, start from a fork, a fork, have you gone through the document? Avoid if you can speak or you can open your mic if you not you can uh, type in the chat box. Okay, uh, how about uh, Sosten? 
you can uh, open your mic or type in the chat with what you understood about the document if you have gone through it or if you didn't go through it just type type that Look, just participate one way or that okay hello Kiron. okay hi. I, have, I, I have gone through the document and I, I, I can say just a brief overview that the document is about using AI to for for budgeting for accurate purposes in budgeting and budget making. Uh, here in task one, we we are told that the the provided Google Sheet has a has a has some calculation errors and we are to find and fix them. That's in task one. We are also supposed to create a summary sheet adding up the three years together and graph the profit which i think it's similar to what we did in task in week one or two week one i think uh, in task two we are to adjust the google sheet to see how the auto calculation changes the time to net profit so i think we have been given some metrics regarding inflation and we are we are to tweak it maybe for some i can see here it says to four percent so that we can calculate how and how how we can see the time to pro profitability how it will change in graphic terms we i think we are supposed to create a graph in something like that then in task three we're supposed to develop predictions using ai so in this case, using the template data, we are supposed to generate a five-year prediction plan from 2027, from 2023 to 2028, and we are supposed to complete the 2027 data and 2028 data using generative AI. And task four, we are supposed to use another LLM to create an analysis regarding the the financial of this company which you have you have been hired as a project manager and we are supposed to create an analysis on the time to reach profitability and also the total profit and loss expected the report should be a maximum of maybe three pages long so that's just that that's some some of the parts i've gone through and i'm still trying to understand it and and they internalize it so yeah that's it Okay, uh, that's really great, Sosa. Thank you. And so uh, I'll just uh, some if one person can speak, okay, we will just proceed. If not, I will just pick someone randomly. Okay, uh, I'll just speak from the list. Or, okay, Zarufail, if you can speak, uh, you can open your mic. If not, you can just type in the chat box. Okay, so Rafael, if you can speak, uh, you can open your mic. If not, I'll just pause it.
Okay, I'll just proceed. Uh, and so uh, I hope uh, it's visible. Okay, uh, no, don't worry. You, you, you can uh, speak up when you are ready. Okay, so uh, now, as as mentioned earlier, the scenario is your uh, newly hired project manager, and so it, it's a startup based on a self storage data company. So you are, it's a very uh, a startup that is in a, in its early a, early stage. So uh, you know, you are tracking expense months months by month. So if you are a startup, you have to track all. Uh, your expenses so yeah and so now you are the project manager there so you, are, you will be tracking all any expenses that are uh, that have been held out for any reason so that's uh, you that's the general scenario and so uh, in your task one you have to uh, actually fix the error so as I mentioned here there are at least three calculation errors in the in the google sheets and also you have to follow uh, and find the the error so you have a tip here the errors are in individual cells so look for unreasonable change from months to months so for example let's say for january you have uh, uh, for january and february you have a steady cross but for march you have a very different kind of uh, expense goes or an income goes. it might be uh, either so you have to actually check the patterns there and also you have to create summary sheet and adding up the three years and graph the, the profit by month so what was the profit in january what was the profit in february and so on and also you have to use the sheet so in the sheet we will just let me just demonstrate that one uh, let me just share uh, the google sheet so uh, as you can see here uh, okay so as you can see here we have uh, an income uh, date we have data up to 25 20 25 20 26 and 2027 so we have uh, an income uh, we have monthly price here and income growth rates and also we have the income Growth, uh, expense growth rate. So for the income growth rate, we have 20%, and also for monthly price, we have uh, $100 for each uh, three plans. So now for January, we have we start with $2,000, which means uh, now it's it's a function as you can see here. As you can see here, briefly, it's just 20 times this one. So we have that one and for the next one we have we add so th there are functions so for example let's just start with for plan one let's just start with 190. so at the like as you can see here the actual income increases significantly so the formula will be applied throughout the sales so th that's why we use formula so now it will uh calculate it auto automatically you don't have to uh, go through each cells and keep calculating for uh, each result so for example as you can see here for the total income it's just a, a sum from from f4 up to f7 so which means we we actually do the sum of all this so as you can see here if this is changed let's just change this one and you will see how it it reflects on the sum so let's just make it 290 and now you can see how it actually reflects on the overall uh, result and when you actually go, come here you can uh, see here so let's just uh, bring it back and yeah so it, now it's uh, the result is the same so now let's just uh, if we actually since this is uh since this one is a uh, calculated field we can just uh, we can't edit the fields manually it's because it's just a function or it's a form it's generated from a formula and now for the expenses part we have rent staffing for usa staffing for 
uh, NPR starting for uh, KS and starting for, I mean, for electricity and cleaning and advertising. So for each, we have a uh, monthly price. So we have a monthly price for each one. And as you can see here for starting USA, we have 1,000 and uh, we have, uh, for NPR, we have around one, we have around 133,000 and we have uh, 131,000 for KS. And as you can see here, the income, the expense growth rate is 1.5%. So it will be reflected on the, it will be actually reflected on these sums and also it will be reflected on actually on this sum. So since we are here on, on this, uh, based on the for it's just generated based on the formula as you can see one plus e 11 over 13 so there is that's the formula we have used and also these are the, the total expenses and for the summary part we have income expenses profit and net gain or loss so net gain the income is the total income as you can see here and the expense is the total expense and the profit is basically uh, income, um, I mean, expense minus income. Uh, it, it might be neg negative if we have uh, a loss. And also for net gain and loss, we have, uh, it is calculated for each month, but we have, we will have another entry here. And we have the variables for the, the convergence here. And for 2026, as you can see here, we have a positive or net gain uh, from last year, which means from, uh, as you can see in the function, we are just selecting from 2025 uh, sheet, just select the, select this one, which means Q25, as you can see here. And that is how it is calculated. I mean, that is how uh, we got our net gain loss and also to uh, cross check for uh, 2026, we have around 491,000. And for 2027, as you can see here, we have the same value here. And that is the basic overview of the Excel sheet. So you have to use this one as a template. So anybody has any question on this one, you can just, Type in the chat or uh, raise your hand and speak. Okay, uh, the si I, I will take the silence as everything is clear. Okay, so now the next five. Okay, go on, uh, Rafael. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think I fixed some tiny challenge, but now I come back. Thank you for waiting. Uh, I think you asked me how to understand the challenge document first. Yeah, yeah, you can also continue on that. Okay. Uh, uh, as my understanding, there are four tasks for this week, and uh, the our objectives and the understandings for show test tasks and the uh, given documents and the first task my objective is finding and fix three calculations uh, errors in the provided google sheet and the task two in scenario one uh, increasing expense cost by four percent as my understanding this is it may be three or four and the and the task three using AI to predict financial for 2080. Uh, task four, there are 
the objective for the task force is preparing a report summarizing the financial of the companies focused on time to probability. So these are uh, the objectives. And uh, what um, my question is, if possible, I need to assist uh, a stance in the identify the calculation errors in the spreadsheets. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Dr. Uh, so um, make sure to go to to, uh, to the X in the Excel sheet and try to find the errors and just take your time. And if you have, st if you still have hard time to find those errors, you can just uh, mention it on Slack or you can DM the tutors. Okay, so anybody has any questions uh, regarding the Google Sheets? Okay, uh, Carol, can I continue? Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, I joined a little bit late, but uh, when you when you're presenting, I mean, the calculations are done using the formulas, right? So, are yeah. we going to find a formula error, or if the data is present and we use some sort of formula? I mean, the, oh, how we are going to find those errors if they so, are done using a formula? So, for example, uh, as many uh, as mentioned in the document here, uh, on the tip, the errors are in individual cells. So look for unreasonable change from months to months. So for example, you have uh, uh, you, you you actually implemented a wrong formula on the cell, or you have not implemented a formula there. So make sure there is a consistent change throughout the cells, because uh, there's just uh, similar data set so for example as uh, if you see the actual rows it's uniform right so you might find uh, somehow somehow uh, okay a change so we that are, is not we are looking for the trends right uh, just for look for the trends and if yeah. you find uh, an, an unusual one so it means like maybe the formula is wrong or you haven't applied any formula at all so for example you have 1000 for january 2000 for february and for march you have like 20000 Maybe you have another uh, add, added another uh, zero at the end. That might be the year. So just try to look uh, for the trends. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, go on, Gitter. Okay. Thank you. Uh, about the trends, eh? uh, are we going to physically or manually look at the trends, or what are we using to look at these trends? Uh, what kind of solutions are you looking for? That would be my question. So, what other other recommendations do you have to find the errors? If you uh, have a better way, you use that. But if just looking in the trends manually is the right solution, also use that. Okay. Uh, another question on the same. I, I will ask. Uh, what if I have a very very a large data set that I'm working on, eh? will I still use the manual method? So mostly for uh, large data sets, you, you, you look for an outliers, right? But this one is uh, just 12 columns of data set. So there is no, uh, you, 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 it's just better to see it. Okay. And you will actually, mm -hmm. Notice the trend. Uh, okay, go on, uh, if to Sarah. Okay, thank you. So uh, there are uh, formulas, more than one formulas in a cell, in uh, a row, uh, which I identified. And uh, which formula is, uh, how can we know which formula is uh, right and consistent to sort out the wrong ones? For example, in the the first cell, uh, in, in row five, January has, uh, I mean, February has its own formula, and the same formula is used for March, but the add, added number is different. So which formula is correct and consistent? How can we know that? Is a task. 
Do you understand my question? Yeah, that is the task. So there is some errors there. So you have to identify those. You can just use uh, the wrong formula. So for example, uh, let's say, let me just uh, share the spreadsheet. Okay. Okay, so now for January, you, you, you have nothing to add in the coming expenses, right? Because you don't you don't have a previous expense because you are just starting and you have a two thousand dollar expense in uh, January. So now now you have to check if now you can see here right. It's just we are adding one ten one ten. So there might be something wrong here, and also you can check so now twelve times uh, C six six six. So now, yeah, this is, see, this is the right trend, right? So I even noticed some something wrong here, something wrong is going on here. So you have to notice that, just look at the formula. So for example, let's just uh, look look uh, for plan two medium and for, for plan three large. As you can see here, we, we, are, we have uh, still consistent, like formula, right? So now if you can see here it's consistent the formula is consistent and also the growth is consistent and if you come here you, you this is this is also consistent after the first formula it just keep on adding up so you understood my point right so look go through the sales and check if there is anything unusual going on okay thank you okay So any other question? Okay, go on, Rod, Rod, Rod. So Rafael, you can go. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, is there any criteria to calculate an error score? Uh, we can use all criteria. Uh, what do you mean by Google criteria? Wait, 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 you are trying to calculate the errors or? Yeah, to find the errors. Uh, so just look for a trend, a wrong trend or a wrong formula or something that uh, is not correctly implemented. Just look for those trends. We can't say this is the error. We have to find the error. Okay. Okay, so yeah, any other question on the Google Sheet part? Okay, so uh, we'll just uh, continue. So uh, for the past two, now you are just uh, the provide a Google Sheet and see how the auto calculation changes from time change the time to net profit. So the scenario one is there is a rapid expense cost inflation and now you have to change the inflation rate to 4% and see how the time profit, the time profitability change and also you have to graph this one. And for the scenario to the Nepalese and Kenyan exchange rates strengthen, uh, strengthen and also the exchange rates to, uh, to 100, uh, Nepalese up to and also Kenyans for USD in January 26 and stays there. Uh, so you have to show the impact of this using graph and your sales leaves leaves and your sales growth rate, re rate reduces uh, by 10 percent for all three uh, items which means for 2025 I mean uh, for, uh, for all three items so you have to actually uh, graph those two and just make sure uh, for the three items I think uh, it means uh, plan one plan two and plan three because that's all the income the your company is currently has so you have to uh, reduce the growth rate so now as you can see in the excel uh, sheet the income growth rate is 20 percent so now there is no income rate so 
you have to change that to 10 percent and yeah so the next task is to develop predictions using ai so now you your bank is asking you for a five-year predictions so you have to complete 2027 20, and 2028 using chat gpt so now you just give it give uh the previous year's data to gpt and uh, prompt it to generate the rest of to the rest two years and the next part would be to use uh, AI to create an analysis. So now you have uh, all the data you need and now you, uh, you have to write a summary report or you have to prepare a report. So this is the financials of the company. So you have to focus on time to reach uh, profitability and also total profit or loss and expected by the end of 2028 so if you if you are expecting some amount of profits you have to actually report that too and the report should be maximum three pages long and of which one page should be <coughs> one page should be graphs and charts and it should include projects up to five years until the end of 2028 so while you uh, you submit you have to focus on this one too and yeah so we will uh, articulate it clearly in the submission part and so based on the scenarios given include the analysis of uh, sensitivity of business measured by time to profitability and also total profitability by end of 2028 and as it relates to sales growth rate cost growth rate and also exchange rate fluctuations and also an, uh, any other factors that you might find while you are analyzing your data and you, uh, so uh, you have to make sure the analysis is accurate and uh, correct so if it, it might uh, hallucinate or give you a wrong uh, result so you have to check that uh, carefully so you can't just submit what ChatGPT uh, just spit out you have to check and make sure it's correct and uh, on the submissions part we have interim submission and you have a uh, final submission as always so the interim submission will be set of slides in a pdf format so just don't submit the google slides uh, export it to pdf and ex uh, submit the pdf part so you have to uh, the submission have the, has three slides one for the financials of each uh, 2024 2025 and 2026 and one slide shows the graph of profit by months and net profit so the basic objective of this is just to check uh, how you how you guys are performing and also what will it take in order for you to complete the project by the end of the week. So on from the final submission, you will submit from task one up to four, and which is a PDF document format. So make sure to actually consider task uh, to focus on task. Uh, task two task three and task four here so since you already have submitted task one we will just uh i'll just modify it to task two because it will it just make more sense in that way and we will i will just add more details on this one so what is expected in task two what is what's expected in task three and what's expected in task four in the task it is clear but i will just add it in in the submission part in order for it to be more clear so yeah and we will have a tutorial sessions on google sheet functions which will be uh, given by carrot and we will have uh and on tuesday we will have uh, creating summary sheets and graphs using google sheets which will be given by reddit and for wednesday we will have how to use ai to make predicts predict predictions and extrapolations using um, given by carrot and thursday we will have how to use ai to to report and slides given by radiate and we, on friday we will have a q and a in the uh, in the q and a make sure uh you guys are present and you will uh, get the chance to ask any questions you have any blockers you have so yeah if you have any questions like you can ask now and also make sure to go through the references if you are facing any blockers okay uh, abdulaziz you can go okay 
Thank you. Would you please go to the interim submission page? Okay. Well, this one. Yeah. So we are going to prepare three slides, right? Yeah, three um, slides. One for financial, one for each year. So mm -hmm. what about the errors that we are gonna fix? Are they are we are going uh, are we expected to submit them or what I do, tell, tell me so uh, we we can actually see if you are uh, if you have corrected the errors or not but we also like we will add one more slide here in order for uh, it to be more clear even while you are submitting so yeah so you can just uh, add here one slide for okay. the errors so oh, yeah. any other question thank you uh, thank you uh, uh abdulaziz Any other any other question? Okay, if to Sarah, go. Uh, do we need to, to some kind of uh, knowledge, uh, financial knowledge, to to work on this for the uh, formulas to formulas or something like that? It's just a basic uh functions but you will be there will be sessions in order to give you uh, a detailed overview of uh, google sheet functions so uh, especially in the uh, in the essence of uh, accounting terms okay thank you Okay, so uh, if you have any uh, questions, of, uh, you can uh, mention it on Slack and we will uh, reach out. So, yeah, if you, if you don't have any questions, you can end the session here. Thank you, guys.